Hello, hello, my dear friends. Welcome back to Elena's Bar, low impact full body workout with JB Fitness. Today we have Tielza. Nice to see you, Tielza. Great that you came. And also we have Amy. Good, guys. Um, read the disclaimer in the description box, please. You're practicing at your own risk, at your own discretion. If something doesn't feel right, adjust it to your needs and to your physical capabilities. Prepare your tools and uh, let's have some fun. So we will do quite a few stretches today. So sit half of the way and just gentle circle side to side. Keep breathing. So inhale forward, exhale.
switch the direction, try not to move your hips. Three, and four, and then now up. So go up. Three, and four, reverse. One, two, three, and four. Okay, take your strap. Let's stretch the shoulders a little more. Take it as wide as it goes. with this 
straight back. Try to go with a straight back. Inhale and exhale. Take a breath and with a straight spine. One, two little bubbles. Slowly come out. Nice. Take a breath. Reach to one side. Open the chest. Open the shoulder. Gaze up.
can place the ball behind the neck to work on the low abdominals, okay? And we will start with the hundred. Keep a neutral spine, roll your shoulders to the back, so you pulse for five, and then you inhale for five pulses, and you exhale for five pulses. Don't rush. Oh. 
before we move to the other side.
by this ball. Nice. See how it feels. Good. And if you want to, do a supine twist. And you can do the supine twist on the other side as well. Like my left hip is not as bad as my right. So whichever one is tighter, feel free to do the supine twist on that side. Nice. Okay. So now if you want to, you can keep the um, bend around your thighs. Okay. Sorry, not around your thighs. So right around your ankles. We are aiding the ball. Okay. We are going to squeeze the ball. Squeeze the ball. Okay. Squeeze the boots as well. Okay, so we'll squeeze the ball. One, two, three, and four. Release the hips for four times. Put it in. Squeeze the ball. One, two, three, four, and release. Two. You can alternate if you want to. Squeeze the ball. Two, lifting the hips higher up. And then one, two, three, and four. The boots isolation. Okay, one move to the time. One, two, three, four. Last time, let's go. And one, two, three, four. Nice, for this. Okay, release. Release, bring your knees in towards your chest. We are going to finish uh, our uh, abdominals here. So we will do the box uh, screw if you want to use the uh, ball in between your ankles you can it will intensify your practice okay otherwise you don't have to do it so with inhale you lift yourself up nice and twist to your right keep the hips within the frame of the right shoulder slowly slowly letting it down on the right good legs are tilting towards the left you can micro bend the knees Keep your neutral spine here, it's essential, okay? Keep your neutral spine as you finish the circle. And another one, inhale up, good. And then twist to your left. And slowly, slowly land in on the left side. Finish the circle, you can micro bend the knees, keep your neutral spine. If you feel like you are arching, micro bend the knees and don't go with long with the legs, okay? So another one, inhale. One more on each side. Good. Twist to your right. Preserve the space between the hips and the ribs. Don't drop your knees into your chest. Activate the low abdominals. Slowly bring it down. Finish the circle. Nice. And inhale. One more time. Yeah, yeah. 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 
sit here if you need to get some water, stay hydrated, okay? Get some water so we can take a little break here. Nice, so bring one leg on top of another if you can. Mm -hmm. So you
Okay, we are going to do a little bit more. If you want to stretch, quick stretch here, you can use yoga blocks. Uh, we can get into a hard mounted pose here, like this. Nice. Or you can come into a child's pose if you want. And press into your hands, try to suppress with your shoulders down into the floor, and then you release the chest. Nice, again. Pressing with the shoulders down, and inhale, release. Good, and then again, with exhale, you're kind of like uh, slouching and rounding your back.
Yeah, these are very good and effective isolations because every time you do them standing or even when you sit, you are likely to use your back a lot. Okay, but with these ones, you really get into your shoulders, your triceps, really. Because even when we sit on the wall, you're still using a lot of the back muscles. And in this case, the back has to be protected by the abdominals, so it's extra work for the back. To maintain the posture, it's more work for your core muscles, which are the back and the abdominals, and then arms are working additionally.
circle to the other side. Three. And one that is snaking. Good. Okay. Now if you want to press with the arm out to the side, holding the opposite arm. And see if you can bind your hands together. Okay. Yes, and you're so close. Let me give you a strength here.
don't have very tight soles back on the uh, other leg, uh, yeah, you can yeah, that. Yeah. yeah, you can actually release the knots and uh, the tight um, yeah. hamstrings. Cool. Let's switch side. But you might need a, a smaller ball, but which is a little sharper than this yes, one. Yes, I actually have. Yeah. You have one. Okay, perfect. perfect. Uh, yeah. Let's switch. Switch the side. Yeah, I usually, I'm struggling with this side, even when I get into warrior one in Ashtanga yoga, like my right source is super tight, always, yeah, yeah. always, and I bought uh, one, it looks like, like a bone, you know, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll, I'll text you, I'll, I'll show you the, the picture of what I, I bought there, it kind of feels like a foam roller, but it's smaller, and it's more, like for the specific area, and you can really foam roll um, your hamstrings, your calves, your quadriceps, and your sores as well on that thing, and it feels really nice. But you have to be patient; it kind of hurts. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna. But it does feel restorative yoga mm -hmm. class tonight uh, at six forty-five, I think. Or yeah. So. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure Switch the hand if you haven't switched already. I just oh, you just did again. Nice. And then reverse the stretch. Flex your foot. Nice. Good. Relax your hand. Relax your neck. And then get into the other side. So you see here, like my left hamstring. I have no problem with my left hamstring. In fact, I'm a little scared of overstretching it. But my right source, it's like it's really, really yeah. tight. So what I often do is like I would sit on a split, but I would place something yeah. underneath so that I can roll on it. This ball is too soft for me. Yeah. You know, I like yeah. something a little harder, you know. Yeah, but you're so close, you're much closer on this side to the yeah. floor than yeah. the other side. Nice for ladies today. It was more of like
Great job today, ladies. Huh? I'm so proud of you. You feel free to stay in if you want to. I don't think there is any class yeah. right now. Class. Yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for joining us today. I hope that you enjoyed this class. Remember to leave your comments. Tell us how you're feeling, how you're doing in the comment section. Join us for more workouts. Join us for in-person classes at JB Fitness. And stay hydrated, eat more vitamins. I'll see you next time. Remember to please like, share, and subscribe. It helps a lot. And have a wonderful day, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye.